Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching Electrica. Now, today we are wiring a uh, Ford and Reverse starter, okay? And that will be a control. Uh, this circuit is very simple, more than you think, okay? Now, uh, first of all, we have contactor here, two contactor, uh, that's what you require. Uh, and this contactor has already been coupled together uh, these are auxiliary contacts and uh, this type, particular type of contactor these are Rovato uh, very convenient okay now this guy here is mechanical interlock okay so it interlocks the two contactors together mechanically uh, uh, such that one contactor is engaged the other contactor can't you know engage okay because remember these are two circuits okay just combined together but remember that if you press these buttons uh, at once both uh, circuits can engage if you press uh, forward it will engage and st and the reverse also will engage and we don't really need that to happen okay so that's why we create electrical interlock but it is also recommended to double it up with mechanical interlock okay the other thing also that you need that will be an overload a relay uh, here and also you're going to need these buttons this is stop st uh, start forward start reverse then you have a breaker for control and then you also have a connector for your neutral and this contactor it has been already pre-wired uh the neutral these are neutral have linked them together and this will go to the neutral or to the phase but in this particular video uh this contactor coil um they don't you know this contactor coil are 240 volts sc okay now i have a circuit here which will help you to perfectly understand this circuit I've always told you that if circuits are really fundamental, uh, once you grab the circuit, everything now becomes very easy. Okay, now let's go through the circuit first. Eh? Okay, now we have a breaker here. The first thing your control must have a breaker, which you have here. You must, uh, any motor, when you're doing any circuit for motor, you must include an overall relay, which is here. Then you have your top button which is this one and then you have these two circuits okay if you look at them they are two independent circuits this is a self-holding and this is also self-holding with a start and auxiliary contact and then start with the auxiliary contact which is the hold okay but one stop so one stop two starts okay now you have got these guys here these two guys if you see here this is a reverse contactor okay this is the reverse side but if you see the auxiliary contact here it is forward and also this is a forward you know contactor but if you look here this is an R or reverse uh, this is a reverse auxiliary okay so that's it now it's just as simple as that now let's wire this circuit here and see how it operates now now what we're going to do we are just going to use different wires uh, each side such that you're able to understand that okay now first thing we are going to begin with our buttons okay so we'll need an incoming this will bring supply in our control okay so we might make sure that it's tight now i'm going to exclude this overload i won't connect it but just know that you will have to include it in your circuit okay and now we have to link uh, these sides all of so we have to connect here and our store Now, we are, we are linking all the buttons, okay? 
so here. So like that, and then you also link this one here. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to wire one side first. We'll begin with the side of forward and then later we do reverse. So we're just going to begin with the blue wires. Okay. Now what you do, you need this guy here. So we've linked our wires here very well from, st from st uh, stop to one forward to reverse. Okay. Now we are beginning. So this auxiliary contact has got to contact up is normally closed and down uh, and down is normally open. Okay, closed open. So we want this one will be will act as our hold. So it will be here. Okay. Now that's one. Now what we do, we need our initial start from our, our, our forward button, okay? So we're just going to put it here from our forward button. So this is our initial start, okay? And we've used here the downer one, okay? Now, from here, we need to go to the coil, okay? But we can't go to the coil yet. We have to pass through the normal uh, closed of the reverse. So we go to normally close the reverse. So up here is normally closed. Okay. So like that, and then we connect this side of normally closed. Here. And now this can go to the coil here. Now, simple as that, our forward side, we are done with it, okay? So now, we are going to the reverse side. Now, the reverse side, we are not going to take, again, another wire from here, okay? Now, the only thing what you are going to do is, um, we will take a wire from here, we will get power from here for our holding purpose, okay? So we've got from here, and then we just come and feed. Okay, here our initial start. Now what we do? We will take. We want to pass it through our normally closed of the forward. Okay. So you just. So we just got uh, just extension power. We would have got this power from here, uh, but to save on wire, we have to tap it here, and we've given it the normally uh, open now through the normally open to the auxiliary, okay, uh, or contact of the forward. Now we will connect a wire here, which now goes to the coil. Now we've connected it so through the reverse contactor clearly. Then we are going to the coil of the reverse. OK, 
okay it looks we are progressing now we just need one more thing if you look here uh, our forward has got a, a start wire then we need a start wire also from the reverse so we need this wire and then put it here and this we will have because we want it to give us give us our initial start okay and we, we can't put it here because now it won't you know have passed here so we want to pass it here so just so we are just going to connect it here okay now we are very much uh, good to go okay so what we are going to do is um, to start our circuit because i've used these different wires such that you are able to see but we can recap this first now remember this is uh, i told you that uh, this is two separate circuit uh, but what bonds them together is that we pass we interlock them okay if you don't interlock them you could start both of them at the same time but you can't since we have interlocked them okay so our breaker is here now let's switch on our breaker so remember each button here this is forward controls this and this is reverse will control this now let's do the reverse so our reverse is running but you cannot even if you push this one because of thanks to the mechanical interlock even if you push this one nothing okay until you stop that and then you press the reverse okay so the reverse is in and you can't and even if the reverse is in even if you press the forward it, it won't go on so this is because of the interlock had we connected it without interlock, it would this would, would have definitely engaged the moment you press here. Okay? So even if you press here a thousand times, it won't start. But if you made an error here, and you, let's say no electrical interlock, this will save the day. Okay? Then forward, forward is in. And then when the forward is in, you can't, even if you press the reverse, the reverse can't run, okay? So, so guys, uh, that has been it, okay? Uh, just uh, a mere recap, uh, you've seen we have totally different circuits here, okay? Instead of holding two, instead of holding circuits, okay? But what bonds them together is the stop the stop is one but the start they are just two so like i said now you see our reverse is running you can't press forward okay even if you press it, it won't start until you stop and then press the reverse it goes in even if you press this it can't all right now thank you very much uh for watching i really appreciate your time here please don't forget to subscribe to like and share with the person that really you know that he has an interest in these electrical stuffs more are still coming thank you very much and god bless